All right, what's going on, guys? It is your boy TKD123 here, back again here on PlayStation Source. And we do have The Last of Us Part 1 on the horizon. We are literally hours away, just over. I mean, for me right now, I'm looking at the clock. We are like 11 hours and 20 minutes away from The Last of Us Part 1. But our next game after that will be, of course, God of War Ragnarok, which will be the main focus on the channel in the coming months. Y'all will definitely see. I got things going right now. But until then, Game Informer got the hookup here with the cover reveal that we will be unveiling here we got a little trailer that shows a little bit of gameplay here along with some really cool combat details that i cannot wait to see how it all gets utilized and fleshed out in the full game so before we get to all that if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like on the video as well stay subscribe to playstation stores to keep up with the latest and greatest in playstation and you know the upcoming uh road to ragnarok you know we don't have the intro cut quite yet but we do have a co-host going and that is definitely on the horizon in the coming weeks but without further ado let's roll the intro and get right into it. Starting off here, let's just take a good look at the cover here for Game Informer. Yes, we do have the thumbnail, but here it is in its full glory. I love this cover. This cover looks lit, and it definitely is reminiscent of the God War 2018 cover as well in a similar vein, but I really love this fashion, really love this styling. Very, very good stuff here with this cover reveal. But this will kick off Game Informer's month-long coverage where they have a bunch of different details and info, which we will talk about some of the info here with the combat details. But we did have Andrew Reiner, the editor-in-chief over at Game informer say a few things about the nature of gameplay as we all want so desperately here so he says that they have about four minutes of gameplay to show and i'm pretty sure he means like four minutes in total of this entire month of coverage right which is kind of low i'm not gonna lie you know definitely a little bit low on that standpoint but maybe there will be more in the future but with these combat details he did not provide footage here as according to this tweet when he says no footage with these god war ragnarok details more on that in the days to come so he does say days to come so hopefully we are just a few days away perhaps next week early next week where we could get some god war gameplay and we will definitely have that here on the channel to share with you guys but uh definitely might be god war ragnarok gameplay here in the coming days according to andrew reiner all right y'all what's good from the editing booth here i was about to hit export but then my homie caleb kaiser on twitter much love to you bro he had a tweet go out to inform me that Game Informer will be having a gameplay video coming out tomorrow as of this upload, Friday, September 2nd. It's called Combat that lets you play with your food or something like that. It's the riff off of the quote that we go over here in this video that you're watching, and I can't wait. So we're seeing gameplay tomorrow for Gabo Ragnarok. Catch it here on the channel. I'll be breaking it down and all that great stuff. And uh, yeah, definitely tune in tomorrow for some God of War Ragnarok gameplay. But with this Game Informer cover reveal trailer, it's about a minute long. We do get a little bit of new gameplay here that you can see here on the screen. I did link this trailer below in the description if you want to go check out that reveal trailer. Not much there, just them, you know, announcing that God War Ragnarok will be the focus of their month-long coverage for the game. And we did get a little bit of new gameplay here with some new abilities that Kratos is doing with his axe, as well as I think he does some stuff with the Blades of Chaos. And then we have a new type of uh, elemental uh, arrow that Atreus fires that I think we get details on in the combat breakdown here later on in the video but uh definitely really cool gameplay to see you know the game's looking great definitely need to see more definitely need to see a full you know hd full-on video about the actual combat and look at the gameplay and stuff like that but so far so good and lastly here in the main focus here on this video is the combat details that were given to us in this first info drop about god of War ragnarok with game informer so once again link below in the description to this full article i pulled out the very juicy and very uh you know informative uh things in this article and we're going to talk about here on today's upload so first up here i want to just highlight and read this quote here from the lead combat designers over at sony santa monica named mahir sheth and denny Ye, and then talk about how the overall combat philosophy for god War Ragnarok revolves around the phrase playing with your food and they go into this quote here where they say here quote that's an internal philosophy that we've had since back in the day kratos plays with his food we tried to create systems you want to engage with that are fun very 
playful and has lots of different routes. And when we looked at the combat in the last game, we were like, we can push this further. We can find new toys and ways of playing with enemies and strategies. That's been the guiding principle more than anything else, which is really cool to see that, you know, they are thinking about the expansion of the combat from 2018's God of War. So they move on to say that they saw about seven minutes of gameplay with Kratos and Atreus fighting these bipedal lizards called Grimms, but they also say that Atreus can lock enemies in place with these new sonic arrows that also fill stagger bars and enemies. So we may actually have seen this in action in the little bits of gameplay that we got from the cover reveal trailer for Game Informer, where we see this like green, like emanating type of like material on these rocks that are in front of Kratos, and then Atreus off screen fires another green arrow in this rock that's contained in this like green mesh, and then they fall down and get released. So my thought is that maybe this is the sonic arrow that we see here, that it can lock enemies into place as said in the article, but it can also lock aspects of the environment in place as well. That could be probably used for traversal or just accessing different areas once we have that ability in the game. And so there's also a little green uh, logo on the bottom that is definitely an indicator of like, yeah, we equipped the sonic arrows on Atreus. So it's pretty clear that this is probably the sonic arrows that were discussed in the article. Next up, we get some really cool aspects from the two combat designers about the overall use of the triangle button and introducing new weapon signature moves. They say here, quote, in the last game, if you press triangle, you recall the axe. But if you already had the axe, nothing happened. If you had the blades of chaos and you press triangle, you just went back to the axe. We looked at that concept and wondered what if we could do something a little bit different with that button, a whole new suite of moves. Triangle attacks are officially called weapon signature moves. Depending on whether you have the Leviathan Axe or Blades of Chaos ready, the Kratos can infuse the sharpened steel with ice or fire. These elemental moves called Frost Awaken and Whiplash do extra damage by freezing or incinerating aggressors. I love this idea, straight up. Yo, I love the way this sounds. Very cool that we're not tied to the Leviathan Axe just being with ice attacks and the Blades of Chaos just being with fire attacks. Like, it's cool that we're going to be able to mix and match those things and have different abilities to do with these weapons. And I think that that's going to be really cool because we're going to have, like, I would feel like the Leviathan Axe be the more slow, methodical, maybe deals a little bit more damage type of weapon as opposed to the Blades of Chaos that were more, you know, lightweight. They're a little bit more, hey, put more DPS down range and everything, but they deal less damage overall. So being able to have those two archetypes and be able to mix and match different elements sounds really cool in my opinion. And it's definitely going to add a lot of depth to the overall gameplay. I'm very excited about this. Really like how it sounds. And obviously, you know, in this game, we're bound to wield Mjolnir, right? So really cool that, you know, eventually we'll probably have the elements of lightning, if you want to call it that, or whatever they want to call it, shock, whatever, right? But being able to mix lightning with the axe, lightning with the blades, having to, you know, mix or use ice with the hammer, fire with the hammer, like it's going to be awesome. But in their continued way of expanding the combat, they have also done so with the shield. So they highlighted two different shields that we'll be able to wield in Gavo Ragnarok. The first one being the Dauntless Shield. It's about twitch reactions and when parrying at the last moment, the shield will emit a red light that can unleash a devastating smash that stuns and tosses enemies. So this is kind of like a light shield if you will and I assume it's going to be very quick to use, very agile and all that and we actually see a screenshot of this in the screenshots that they unveiled with this article. So really cool to see in action, very cool and sounds like awesome where like hey if you are you know good at parrying and you're able to get that last second parry in, you're going to be rewarded with a very high impact devastating smash, very cool stuff there. But the other shield they unveiled is the Stonewall Shield. So this is going to be for slower pace engagements and you cannot parry with this shield at all. But the more hits the shield takes, the more kinetic energy the shield absorbs and builds up. And once fully charged, players can slam the shield into the ground, emitting a screen wide pulse, knocking enemies back. And so we do see another screenshot of this in action, which I believe, which I'm pretty sure this is this is the Stonewall Shield where Kratos is smashing this on the ground and we see that kind of, you know, pulse kinetic uh, wave that is on the ground and everything. However, as the shield takes more and more damage, it becomes more unstable, leaving Kratos exposed to attacks that otherwise would be completely blockable. So this is going to be the heavy shield. And I like how, you know, this sounds very OP, like being able to just hold it up and just block and just get all this energy and then to smash it on the ground. That might be a little bit OP if there wasn't any trade off with it. But I like how there is a trade off of it being very unstable and eventually you'll start to take damage from hitting 
hits that you otherwise wouldn't, right? So I wonder if the Dauntless Shield has a very similar type of negative aspect to it when using it, where maybe the Dauntless Shield can't block certain attacks that the Stonewall Shield can, or, you know, we'll see how that turns out. That's probably my best guess on it. But I definitely like their pros and cons to both these shields, but definitely I'll probably lean towards that Dauntless Shield, you know what I'm saying? I need that, I need that time parry, you know what I'm saying? I need that, I need that. And they do end off this article with some more details about Ragnarok as a whole, so there will be more shields available in the game to utilize other than the Dauntless and the Stone Walls. So I can't wait to see what other shields they have in the game. Very cool to see that as well. And they also do confirm that enemy aggression and lethality would be heightened in harder difficulties. That's definitely not a new aspect or a shock or anything like that, but they do, you know, say that there will be definitely harder moments in every setting of every difficulty, but definitely the harder ones are going to be the most where you're going to get the most aggression and lethality overall in the game. And they do promise that the side content in Ragnarok will be as gratifying as God of War 2018. So bottom line, man, I'm really enjoying the way this is sounding, man. This is sounding great. Cannot wait to see what comes from this. And I'm very hyped to see some more shields. And we, I think for me, the one thing that is definitely sticking out is the weapon signature moves and the different elemental infusions that you can do with each weapon, right? I'm very curious to see what other primary weapons that we'll have other than the blades and the axe. And I'm assuming Mjolnir, uh, you know, Thor's hammer, I'm assuming that's going to also be a weapon that we'll wield and stuff like that. But I do wonder what other weapons we'll be able to see in the full game once we get access to it. So very excited to see this, guys. Very cool details. And we will continue our coverage of the Game Informer information as it comes. But down below, guys, what are your thoughts? Did you enjoy hearing this? What's your favorite aspect of the combat? Did you like the cover reveal? Let me know all those thoughts down below in that comment section. Also, while you are down there, make sure you don't miss our description. You can find links to our Discord, our Twitter, and of course, our Anchor link that we you can listen to our long form content in podcast format road to part one we will have first impressions of the last was part one up on sunday at 10 a.m on the channel on youtube and podcast services like apple Podcasts, google play spotify etc via the anchor link down below in the description and of course the upcoming series road to ragnarok is in the works it is coming boys definitely prep for that like the video if you enjoyed it as well stay subscribed to playstation source to keep up with the latest and greatest in playstation thank you all for watching and as always Greatness awaits.